This is David Finola, and I'm pleased to present to you a brief overview of my latest book on the design of low-rise reinforced concrete buildings. The main purpose of this publication is to assist in analyzing, designing, and detailing structural members in low-rise, cast-in-place, conventionally reinforced concrete buildings. Members are designed in accordance with the 2009 edition of the International Building Code, the 2008 edition of ACI 318 Building Code Requirements for Structural Concrete, and the 2005 edition of the ASCE 7 standard, Minimum Design Loads for Buildings and Other Structures. The book contains numerous design aids, flowcharts, and completely worked out design examples so that the reader can efficiently learn and properly apply the design and detailing provisions of the code. Chapter 2 summarizes floor systems commonly used in concrete buildings. Guidance is provided on the advantage of various systems and practical framing layouts. Information on the selection of economical floor systems for various span and gravity load conditions is also provided, along with methods to determine preliminary member sizes. Shown on your screen is a design aid from Chapter 2 that can be used to quickly obtain a preliminary slab thickness for a flat plate based on two-way shear requirements and an edge column, including the effects from unbalanced gravity moments. Lateral force resisting systems typically used in low-rise reinforced concrete buildings are summarized in Chapter 3. Also included is a procedure on how to determine seismic design category and the limitations imposed on the various lateral systems. Approximate methods to determine stiffness of lateral force resisting system elements and distribution of lateral forces to the vertical resisting elements are also provided. Shown here is a portion of a flow chart in Chapter 3 on how to determine seismic design category. In general, the flow charts provide a road map that guides the reader through the intricate requirements in the code. Chapters 4, 5, and 6 cover comprehensive design and detailing requirements for beams, slabs, columns, walls, diaphragms, and foundations based on seismic design category. The examples illustrate in a straightforward manner how to analyze, design, and detail structural members. They follow the steps in the flowcharts and were formulated to illustrate provisions that are not commonly covered in other texts. The slabs, beams, columns, and footings in this example building shown here are designed in detail for various seismic design categories. Also included is the design of the diaphragm in both orthogonal directions and the design of the collectors. This example illustrates the design of walls with openings. This publication is an excellent resource for practicing engineers, engineers preparing for licensing exams, plan reviewers, and engineering students. The information needed to order this book from ICC is shown on your screen. Thank you for your interest.